Hey there guys, it's Silver, your host, and we are back for more Pokemon Crystal. And today, we are heading over to Erika's gym to get our fourth Kanto badge. So, let's head on in that general direction, shall we? We have Pokemon battles to win, gym trainers to defeat, badges to get. <coughs> Sorry if I sound a bit groggy. This is again, you guessed it, an early morning recording. And I mean early, early as well, so... <laughs> yeah. Feeling a touch on the groggy side. Now we are going to keep Bell up front because of... Sludge Bomb. That's going to make moves... Sorry. I read moves on the screen and said moves. That's going to make things easier in terms of these Grass-type Pokémon. Will you show you Pokemon moves that Erica taught us? Alrighty, let's go then. The uh, ladies only gym. Twins Joe and Zoe wants to battle. <coughs> Hello Victory Bell. Sludge Bomb. Oh, it hung in there. Sweet scent. No problem. Very good. Victory Bell is down. <coughs> Sorry, I'm... Like I said, I'm waking up and also feeling a bit congested this morning, so... I'm kind of bleh, if that makes sense. Hmm. Right. Valentine. You can have this. Pure grass types are going to be easy to deal with. But, um... Vileplume's part poison typing. Makes Psychic quite appealing. And down. Job done. Okay. First pair of trainers dealt with. Oh, we lost. Sorry. Okay, we got a few more before we reach Erica. Quite a few more, actually. Do you think a girls only gym is rare? <coughs> well, I haven't seen. I can't think. I played Pokemon actively up until Gen 6. Were there any female. I know it. Well, Whitney's gym had exclusively female trainers, but was it female only? The only two Pokemon gyms I can think of that have had exclusively female trainers up to Gen 6, though I may be wrong, were, um... Erica's here in Celadon, and Whitney's in Goldenrod. A Hoppip... More sludge. Straight down. I'm guessing her last Pokemon's a skip loom? I'm guessing. I don't know. Jump off. No, my guess was wrong, but it's okay. It outsped us. Must be reasonably quick then. All of that lovely XP. Last Michelle was defeated. Oh, Blair. I just got careless, that's all. Erica is much, much stronger. Another lass over here to go up against. Oh, battle. That's kind of scary, but okay. Let's do this. Pick a Nicotania wants to battle. Executor! Nice. The coconut tree fella. 
Oh, well, no, that's a female executor, but still. The coconut tree thing. Good. Good, good. Probably gonna have to head back to the Pokemon Center in a second. Just to get some healing. Right, one more trainer. Well, more to recover our moves. I don't want to waste an ether. Were you looking at these flowers or at me? That's very presumptuous of you. Very presumptuous. Beauty Julia wants to battle. We have a Paris. Bring on the sludge bombs. Yeah, we're going to have to go to the Pokemon Center and uh, refill our PP in a second. That grass bug typing makes sludge bomb quite lethal against the Paris. Execute. And the spinning eggs are down. Super effective. Good, good. What's last? Parasect. Fine. The, um, the creepier older brother of Paris that is actually being controlled by the spore on its back, which is really sad. Really sad. Super effective. We only got 960. I expected a bit more. Alright. 49. That should be more than enough for Erica. How annoying. <coughs> right. We'll go heal. And I really do apologize about this throat congestion. I am so sorry. <laughs> this gym is great. Only girls are allowed here. Oh, creepy old man standing around looking. Don't be weird. Ugh, don't be weird. Don't anybody be weird, right? Doesn't matter your age. Young man, old man. Don't be weird and stare into the window of a girl's only gym like a creeper. Please don't. Nobody's going to appreciate that. But yeah, sorry about this throat congest congestion, guys. I am going to, as I've probably said in several parts already, I'm trying to get a decent de decongestion that actually works. I don't know if it's a sinusy, I don't know if it's throat problems, I, th I think it might be, to be fair. But I need to sort it out. But, uh, getting an appointment with the doctors in the UK right now is, um, difficult because... The, um, the medical service is in chaos right now, but that's a different story that we don't need to bring into Pokemon. Anyway, we have a gym leader to defeat. Let's um, put Belle to the test, shall we? Alrighty. Hello, Erica. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? So pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. Oh, all the way from Johto, you say? How nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. She sh she's so mild-mannered. I like Erica. Okay, she has four. Tangler to start. Level 42. Right. Will this be enough to take it down in one? No. Using bind. At least we're going to get a small challenge here. This is the first Pokemon in this gym that's really been able to launch a damaging attack on us. The one victory bell um, was mainly just using... Cotton spore. Right, victory bell next. Okay, this might be tricky. 
We're not going to be able to take this down immediately by any means, given that part poison typing. We'll do neutral damage at best. And I'm not expecting this will do even half. Well, I stand corrected. Sunny day. You've actually just aided my healing with Moonlight there. Because I think Moonlight is assisted by Sunny Day in Gen 2. At least I'm sure I read on the wiki that it was. Acid. That hurt. That hurt. Oh, Hyper Potion. We're not going to be able to poison this thing because of its part poison typing. Right. It hung in there. Another acid. That is pretty damaging, I'm not going to lie. Good. Two more left. Who we got? Blossom. Now this will work nicely. Given that I'm a higher level, I'm pretty certain I can outspeed here. Yeah. Now, Blossom is bulky. Surprisingly bulky. Pedal dance. Brace for impact. I could have taught that to mine if I'd have waited until we got to a later level with our Gloom. Because you can't learn anything with Blossom from Gloom's original moveset. Like this Gen 2 evolution, the only thing it learns I think is Solar Beam in the 50s and that's about it. But in the, in the end I opted for Sludge Bomb instead of waiting to get Petal Dance. Because now our final moveset is going to be Solar Beam, Sunny Day, Moonlight, and Sludge Bomb. Which gives us a little bit of diversity, and has also allowed us to quite easily get past this gym. Giga Drain. That did almost nothing. I honestly expected more. Will this take it out in one? I highly doubt it. It did. I am surprised at that. Level 50. Hey. Nice. Erica was defeated. Oh, I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. I shall give you Rainbow Batch. Four gym leaders down. That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM. It's Giga Drain. It's a wonderful move that drains half the damage it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. Please use it if it pleases you. Oh, we will. We really will. I know exactly. Losing leaves a bit of t aftertaste, but knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. Now. I know exactly who is getting this Giga Drain. In fact, I have waited to give this to Mark the Meganium. Because I have a very specific move set in mind for Mark the Meganium. I am thinking we go reflect. Well, we've already got most of our moves in place already. I might have mentioned this in the previous part, I can't remember. But yeah, I'm thinking we go Light Screen, Toxic, Giga Drain, and Reflect. So, that is the plan. I'm obviously going to have to get a PP up. Now, Giga Drain will do more damage than... Well, more base damage than Razor Leaf, minus a critical hit. And it will also be buffed up by... Same type attack bonus and Miracle Seed. So it'll end up being quite damaging. So I think that will become a base 
or a 99 power grass move that heals us. Plus we can toxic anything that's non-poison to uh, really give our opponents a bad time. So, that is what we'll do. We're going to give Giga Drain to Mark. Giga Drain, yep. Most of our party can learn this because of all the grass types. Actually, we're there. <clears throat> let me just... Let me just... Remove our Oddish from the party. We won't be doing any more uh, cutting down of trees. Good, good. Right. Awesome. Now then. Hmm. What does this random lass have to say here? Erica is a master of grass Pokemon. She'll make you pay if you don't watch yourself. I think we dealt with that already, don't you worry. Alright. Giga Drain. Now, I don't think, looking at Bulba Garden, this move has a lot of PP. Yep. Okay. So we can basically start walling people now that we have Giga Drain. I believe from what I read, after Gen 4, it was either after Gen 3 or Gen 4, they gave it 15 PP. But I think... I think in Gen 2, it has like 5. Yeah, 5. So we're obviously going to use the PP up on that. We have one. And yeah, given that it is... um Mark's only attacking move, probably going to need... um a bit more with it. That'll do. Okay, six. Bit better. Not outstanding, but a bit better. Right, Valentine is going to be the one to do a lot of the work in this next gym because of the poison types. So we are going to head down the cycling road and just sweep through coughings as we go. Because a lot of these bikers have coughings and wheezings and that kind of thing. Right. Let's go. Cycling road starts here. It's all downhill, so it's totally exhilarating. It's a great sort of feeling that you can't get from a ship or train. Very nice. All downhill, they said. Cycling road. Downhill coasting all the way. Here we go. Going down. Hey, you're from Johto, huh? I am. Hello, Mr. Biker. Biker Riley. I'm gonna have to look and see where I can find another PP up. So I could give mark a bit more attacking power with that um with that giga drain tm maybe give him a seventh attack whoa you kick thank you i aim to please hey want to have a speed battle well you have a motorbike i think you may be at a slight advantage here friend biker glenn Hello, coughing. Super effective. Biker Glenn is about to use magma. Hmm. That'll hurt if it hits us with anything. Um. I'm going to give this to Fang, actually. Fang, you can have this. Righty. Extreme speed. Go. 
Very good. Fang's got good physical attack. I mean, he's got... He's got pretty solid special attack as well, in fact. He's got good middle-of-the-road stats all round. And, uh... Sorry, her. Apologies. When we get her to Dragonite, those stats will be pretty solid. Because, uh, Dragonite's the pseudo-legendary. <laughs> Or one of the two pseudo-legendaries of Gen 2, because you have Tyranitar, and you have Dragonite. Hit this wheezing with everything we got. Down in one. Good, good. 47. Perfect. Yikes. You got awesome talk. Thank you. Any more bikers? There's one there. We'll take him on. Well, that's a cool bicycle. Thank you, friend. Thank you. I'm glad you like my bicycle. Bicycle, bicycle. Goodness me. I will not start quoting Queen. I apologize. Um, I had a friend on in a live stream the other night. And he ended up quoting Queen. And it's been a... That one song's been popping up in my head every time I've been thinking of bikes. Right. He's hoping this doesn't do too much. That's bearable. Right. Psychic again. Magmar's down. Another magma. Um. Hmm. All right, that's fine. Bang. Come on in. Use that extreme speed. It hung in there. Oh. Poison. Darn it. Alright. Biker Joel was defeated, but you don't just look cool. I'm glad you like our bike. Righty. Down this way we go. There's no more bikers in this bit here. There'll probably be a couple more on the cycling road somewhere. Oh. Oh, that answers that question. We're fearless highway stars. I'm glad. I'm happy for you, friend. Right. Biker Charles. Got a coughing? Coughing. Bring on that psychic smackdown. Charmeleon. Oof. Um, Valentine's poisoned here, so... Oh, sorry, no. Fang is poisoned here. Wrong Pokemon. Sorry. Um, we'll use Queen. Despite that ice typing, she's got a gnarly psychic. That should be more than enough to take down a level 30 Charmeleon. More than enough. Yeah, without any reasonable doubt. We have a wheezing. Back to Valentine. Done and done. Biker Charles was defeated. Yeah, crash and burn. Oh, 
God, you really have to hold on to the freaking D-pad here. All right, cycling road uphill starts here. Yeah, why would you go back up cycling road uphill and put yourself through this? Like, that's weird. I pressed frickin' I pressed frickin' right on the Nintendo controller and I still went down. Right, we have a bird keeper here. Two of them actually. I'm gonna keep Valentine in despite the tight mismatch, just for the XP. Cycling road is a quick shortcut to Celadon. Not if you're going uphill, it's not. Not if you're going uphill. Right, bird keeper Bob. Hey, knocked out. Everyone's favorite owl. I like knocked owl. Oof. You are bulky, knocked owl. You are bulky. He's just pecking. He's like, peck, peck, peck. Thanks, knocked owl. I'll deal with that other um, bird keeper in the grass in a minute after we've healed up at the Pokemon Center. I do reckon. Bird keeper Bob was defeated. Bird keeper Bob. What? What a you know? What a what an expectable, expectable. Don't even think that's a word. What a you know a stereotypical name for a bird keeper. I feel bird keeper Bob. An expected name. Expectable. I'm going to, um, stop pulling random words out from somewhere from my random silver dictionary. Oh, for goodness sake, Brent Pokemaniac. The worst thing I ever did was give you my phone number. Did you know that Bill showers at 7pm every evening and then has a cup ramen before working on his PC system? Dude. Dude. Leave Bill's house, stop looking in through the window, possibly have a shower, and go and train with your Pokemon. Right. The fact that he knows that Bill likes one of the ladies at the flower shop is disturbing. He's like, I follow Bill around wherever he goes, and I'm just like, no, stop, 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 stop. Hello, welcome to our Pokemon Center, we'll heal up. Okay, okay, okay. You Pokemon are fully healed. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Right. I got quite a shock at the gym. There, there were, there were all these girls who looked identical. Sorry, my brain muddled up those words there. I'm Janine. Hocus Pocus. Poof. See, I look just like her now. That was very fun. Hey. You have a brand new kind of Pokedex. Did Professor Oak give that to you? Well, somebody did. Alright. We'll be tackling Janine's gym in the next part, I reckon. No, oh, no, don't go down. Go this way. But for now, we're gonna go and fight that last bird keeper. Do 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 oh. Wild Encounter! Wasn't expecting that. Hey, it's a Grimer. Wonder what random Grimers are just doing sitting out here. It's alright. I've never tried a poison type playthrough. I actually haven't. You know, going for some um, Grimers and Weezings. Well, Vero's not bad. I reckon if we whack that with a Psychic. It's going to yield some at least half decent MP, uh, MP, XP, even for a wild Pokemon MP, good lord. What other RPG are you playing today, Silver? Hello, Mr. Birdkeeper. If you're looking for Pokemon, you have to look in the tall grass. Thank you. 
for that heads up. I think we may have things under control for now, though, friend. Don't you worry. Bird Keeper Boris. This is even better. Bird Keeper Boris. The Russian Bird Keeper. Da. It is Bird Keeper Boris. Excellent. Hey, Doduo. I like Doduo. The twin-headed bird Pokemon. I imagine it having a real pecking session when it's in a field somewhere. Like, both heads are like, peck, 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 peck sequentially like one after the other or in unison unison pecking sorry the most random ideas pop into my head when i see a pokemon sometimes the bado duo excellent all right bird buddy down we go guessing the last one's going to be a Dodrio, am I right? It is. Hello, Dodrio. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing possibly outspeeds us despite the level disparity. Like, Dodrio is fast. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. We're okay. We're okay. It is down. Pretty good XP, too. Nice. Awesome. 48. Bird Keeper Boris was defeated. Aye! Sounds like Tidus from Final Fantasy X. Seymour went to Macarena Temple. You mean Macalania Temple? Aye! So random. I love Final Fantasy X. Does anybody else who's watching this playthrough enjoy Final Fantasy X? By now, or by the time this playthrough goes up on the channel, we should have a fully completed playthrough. A Final Fantasy X on the channel. If anybody wants to watch that, we've got a nice VOD from our live stream sessions for people to check out. Me and my buddy Ace been playing some Pokemon. But yes, my awesome people, it has certainly been a fun time. A fun time indeed, bringing you some more Pokemon. I think we may just have one more Pokemon battle out here in this direction with one of the many trainers who are around here before we wind down. Just, I just feel like it. I feel like one more battle. Right. Who, how are we looking for XP, guys? Everybody's pretty close to, um... Or pretty close to having just leveled up. Or what I'm trying to say is... Nobody's close to getting another level up. I'm trying to get words together today has been a challenge. So we're just going to fight this random guy here. Hold on, I have to phone my mum. Yeah, speak to your mother. Let her know that you're okay and check in. Dude, I'm, um, I'm a grown adult. And my old man still calls me from time to time to check in that I'm okay. Parents do that. They worry no matter how old you get. Schoolboy Kip wants to battle. Okay, we have a Voltorb. Bang. Land the Smackdown if you would. Extreme speed. Good, good. 595. A Magnemite. Also known as a problem. We've, we've had a problem with Steel Pokemon throughout this playthrough. Like, throughout. There's, there's no two ways about it. Steel Pokemon have caused us problems because we really haven't had anything to effectively counter them. Hey, we got Paralysis on it. That's good. Of course it managed to land a Supersonic. Through its Paralysis... Good. Right. What's next? Another Vault Orb. That's fine. As long as we can weather the confusion. Come on, Fang. Yes. This is good. This is good. Are you packing another Magnemite to finish, by any chance? Magneton, even worse. Even worse. Right. 
We're just going to have to chip you down with Dragon Breath, aren't we, and hope for a paralysis. There's a part of me that's thinking to myself, Silver, for goodness sake, you safeguard. You safeguard. It's locking on. Well, if it's locking on, I'm definitely going to use safeguard. He's probably going to use Thunder Wave. Why did it lock on twice? Oh, well. Alrighty. Done and done. Sorry, Mum, I was beaten. There are a lot more trainers down this way, aren't there? Yeah, there are. We'll save these for next time. What wild encounters do we have? Hold on. What wild encounters do we have down here? Well, hello, Nidorino. You wouldn't be bad for XP, I'll give you that. Okay, less than I thought, but still not bad. Still not bad. Yeah, I can't believe how Fang's getting close to being a Dragonite now. Like, quite close. In fact, all of our Pokemon are nearing 50. All of them. But yeah, my awesome people. I hope you're still enjoying this playthrough. I'm going to just look around Fuchsia City for a moment. One of the Elite Four used to be the leader of Fuchsia Gym. There's a notice here. Safari Zone office is closed until further notice. Yeah, it's empty. So you don't get Safari Zone. I know of um, a couple of fan games that have put the Safari Zone back in, but not in not in the not in the actual official game. Safari Zone Warden's home. My grandpa is the Safari Zone Warden. At least he was. He decided to go on a vacation and took off overseas all by himself. He quit running the Safari Zone just like that. And now you uh, need somebody else to run it. Why doesn't his granddaughter run it? What's here? I'm curious. I'm just... I'm curious as to what might be behind that bush. Give me a second. Give me a second. My grandpa is at uh, my brother Bill's on Cerulean Cape. I saw these what uh, these weird slow Pokemon on Cycling Road. Weird slow Pokemon. You referring to Slugma, perhaps? Give me a sec. I'm gonna just cut down that tree and see what's behind it. I get distracted by the most simple of things. Either way, it's fine. We're okay. We're alright. Just like, the most random things pop into my head, as I said while we were playing earlier. It's like, what's behind that bush? This Pokemon makes me think this strange thing. Hmm. Anyway. Right in. Cut down the tree. What's here? The Safari Zone is closed. It's sad considering it's Fuchsia's main attraction. No littering. Please take your waste with you. Wait, you have to cut down a tree to get to the Pokemon here? That feels really weird in terms of design. Koga's daughter succeeded him as the gym leader after he joined the Elite Four. Yeah, this just leads to the Safari Zone. Nothing really here. Oh well. The Warden is travelling abroad, therefore the Safari Zone is closed. Hmm. Okay. Weird how you have to cut down a tree to get to... Ooh, a berry. That's fine. Yeah, weird how you have to cut down a tree to get to the Pokemon. Strange design choice, anyone? Strange design choice? 
Okay. Couple more hyper potions. You never know. We've got enough full heals to last us a while. We don't have to worry about that. Alrighty. After my random digression there, uh, just like my random segue, we will uh, wind down. As I said, the strangest things get my attention. Hmm. It's alright though. Everything is part of the adventure, isn't it? Well, either way, the next thing we are going to do in our next part is to take on Fuchsia's gym. That is our plan of action. That is what we will do. Fuchsia's gym, then maybe battle a few more trainers, get a bit more XP. Then we'll head back to Saffron to take on Erica. Sound like a good plan? I hope so. Okay, so this is where, my awesome people, we will leave it. But to all of you who have stopped in for this most recent part, huge thank you. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. If you have enjoyed yourself, do feel free to like and subscribe, or maybe like and comment. Whichever, whichever order of events you'd like to follow there. Always appreciate having new people joining our fun little community. So yeah, feel free to join us if you would like. And if you'd like to support us further, every... You could, well, you could join our Patreon. And every silver patron gets an exclusive patron shout-out at the end of every live stream and pre-recorded Let's Play part. Not at all essential, but very much appreciated. And the links to that are in the video description and the channel's about section. Just £2.50 a month, the same price as a small cup of coffee or a bus ticket. And yes, every silver patron, as I was saying, gets an exclusive patron shout out at the end of every live stream, pre recorded Let's Play part. And I'm repeating myself now. But yeah, it's up to you. As I said, the links to that are in the video description and the channel's about section. A special thank you to our first silver patron at the time of recording this video. Mr. Jonathan, it's very much appreciated, and I will bring you all some more Pokemon very soon. So a huge thank you to everybody who stopped in, thank you very much for stopping in, and I will of course see you in the next one. So guys, I have been Silver, your host, have a fantastic morning, afternoon or night, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care guys.